Hey guys, welcome to Book Rehab Bootcamp. I am Nick the Vet, and I just kind of want to go over today um, the time you have left. I get a lot of questions about people not really understanding how the time works and, and what they can get. So let me say this. In the beginning, we all get 36 months. You either get 36 months of Voc Rehab, whether you have GI Bill eligibility or not, or you have 36 months of GI Bill, but they both come from the same pot. So let's say hypothetically, you just got out, you've got full GI Bill, 36 months, and you go with Voc Rehab instead of GI Bill. You're still using your GI Bill. You're just using it for Voc Rehab instead. Now, the, the benefit for that is if you use 36 months of GI Bill, you can get whatever degree you want. Nobody's going to question anything. If you use your 36 months for Voc Rehab, your Voc Rehab counselor is going to want you to obtain a degree that will definitively lead to um, a job <laughs> because that's the goal. So you have to decide what's best for you. I personally think that Voc Rehab is better because you also get accommodations. You get things that you don't get with GI Bill. Um, in addition, you can get 12 additional months, which takes you out to 48, but you can get like what I got when I was getting my um, degree, um, my master's degree using Voc Rehab, you know, a MacBook and cameras and equipment and um, a printer and tons of paper and you know, whatever. So you have to make the decision as to what's best for you. But that 36 months, whether you use it at GI Bill or Voc Rehab, it's the same thing. Now, the next level, of course, is the 48 months I just mentioned. If you're using Voc Rehab, you can get those extra 12 months added on. So if you, um, hypothetically, let's say you got an associate's using GI Bill and now you want to get a bachelor's, um, but you need an extra 12 months, you can get that from Voc Rehab. Or you already got a bachelor's using GI Bill and now you want to get a master's. If it only takes 12 months, they can give you the extra 12 months, which pushes you to 48, and then you can get your master's degree. Um, if you need more than 48, nine times out of 10, really um, 10 times out of 10, they're going to say you run out of time. What they won't tell you is that if you have a serious employment handicap, they can extend that time. So um, if you have already used your GI Bill to get a, math, a bachelor's and now you want to get a master's, which is going to take 24 months, but you only have 12 months left of that, of the 36 to 48, you know, you only have 12 left. They're going to say you just can't get it. You have to figure out some way to get a certificate in the 12 months. Well, that's not true. If you look at the guidelines for having a serious employment handicap and you have one, you can present that and say, nope, I have an SCH. So therefore my time needs to be extended. And now you can pay for my master's or my doctorate or whatever. So when you go in there, you need to understand that. So they can't say you're out of time. Now, the only way you can really be out of time is if you use all of your 36 months, whether you use it on GI Bill or Voc Rehab, and you use the additional additional 12 months from Voc Rehab, and you don't have a serious employment handicap. In that instance, you are out of time. Um, but let me just say this. Some people have a serious employment handicap and they don't even know it. Um, the nine criteria for that is um, at the 631 mark of video 16. If you meet every single criteria, then and they say you don't have a serious employment handicap, you need to go line upon line, precept upon precept, and say, I do have one. Please stop saying I don't. Please acknowledge my serious employment handicap. Please honor your duty to assist, which says that you must do all that you can to help me find entitlement. I'm presenting the evidence. Why are you ignoring it? Please don't ignore it. You know, be assertive. Make sure they accept that. Um, if you don't meet all nine criteria, then you may have extenuating circumstances. Like there may be one that you don't meet, but you have other situate another situation like maybe your spouse is on their deathbed you know god forbid or maybe you know you have a seriously handicapped child that you have to take care of there's other extenuating circumstances so if you're not sure if you meet the sdh criteria what you can do is email me and let me know which of the nine you think you don't meet and i'll ask you some questions to see if maybe we can figure out how you actually do meet them um and then in that case, that's how you would argue it. So um, the time situation, know what the time limits are. So when you go in there, you can argue your case and get what you want. Okay. Thanks for watching. I am Nick the Vet.